It's a glove that can translate actions into words. An amazing invention that was engineered by a remarkable high schooler. I try to come up with an idea of what's something that would be fun to build. You need that motivation of enjoying doing a project to get to the end. That's now on The Circuit. Welcome to The Circuit, where we bring you the nation's best young inventors and their inspiring innovations. In this episode, we'll meet a brilliant young inventor who has expanded communication possibilities for the deaf using an ordinary golf glove, like this. This is Ryan Patterson. He's an engineer in the aerospace industry. Today, he works on projects for NASA, but he's had an amazing road to the big leagues of engineering. I've been interested in electronics all my life. My parents have home videos of me asking Santa Claus for a multi-outlet when I was at an age where I couldn't even speak well enough for him to understand what I was asking him. Some kids just drag around a security blanket. I drag around a little green extension cord. By eight, Ryan's gift and curiosity impressed a local physicist who became his mentor. As soon as I found my mentor, John McConnell, he got me started so then I could take off and learn everything else that I needed to know. At 17, Ryan conceptualized, invented, and fully engineered the Sign Language Translator, a glove that senses its wearer's hand movements and translates the information wirelessly to a handheld device. The invention gained international renown and awards. I try to come up with an idea of what's something that would be fun to build. You need that motivation of enjoying doing a project to get to the end. Ryan's eureka moment came at a fast food restaurant after he observed a deaf customer struggling to order. He thought, why not create a device that translates sign language into text? Can you show me uh, step by step how this amazing invention works? Yes. So this is obviously the glove the user wears. And this is actually one of the sensors. So it's got a couple terminals on it and Electrically, I can read as it's bent one way or another, its electrical characteristics change. So with one on top of each finger, and then they're in between the fingers, um, on the wrist, on the thumb, they're all connected to the circuit board. What it does is it collects the data from these sensors and then transmits it wirelessly. These numbers represent the readings from the sensors. It's a relationship. It's yes, I've previously trained into a database what all of the different signs are. So then every time I sign something, it goes through that database and finds the closest match. This remarkable golf glove senses its wearer's hand movements and transmits that data wirelessly to a tiny handheld monitor or a computer. That's pretty incredible. Can you show me A, B, C, D, E, F and see how it works? All right. We've got A, B, C, D. Well, that's great for our purposes here, but I guess if somebody's at a fast food restaurant, they can't take this computer with them, so what do they do? Exactly. So that's why I built this display here, which actually has two processors on the back and memory and a bunch of components, and then obviously wireless receiver, so it's receiving all the data from the glove. So to give a quick demonstration, again, I can, for instance, do A, B, C, D, E, F. Perfect to actually go from idea to implementation is passion. If somebody has enough persistence, you can make almost anything feasible happen. It's clear that Ryan's advanced work in electrical engineering will surely be responsible for many innovations in the years to come. Well, that's all for now. We'll see you next time on The Circuit.